It's coming at a time. I mean, it is only going to be offered to about 5.5 million people who are the people who are going to uh, who are qualified for the extra shot. Mm. So, yeah, so probably mm. I'm not qualified for it anyway. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say no, but it's um, the jump is being driven by, um, you see, it's because we've had a big jump in infections. Yeah. Um, and, it, and it's been quite massive, actually. Um, it's gone up in a week by 2.7 million people. And uh, I think it's because COVID is becoming a little bit sort of every three months because you get antibodies for about mm. 90 days. So I reckon sort of every three months you could have a bump of people sort of going up and then coming back down again. Yeah, I mean, can, can I level with both of you? I'm over this. I'm done with over it. it. I'm, yeah. I'm done with counting, actually. I'm done with counting the number of people who get the COVID. And I say that because the country is now so broke, right? We're making Katie Price look financially solvent by comparison. <laughs> she uh, certainly uh, says we, <laughs> we are. We are probably two or three lockdowns away from having to decide which of our children to eat first. I just like... Uh, at what oh, point? Well, oh, I'm stuck. I've only got one. Uh, well, but no doubt delicious. No, but obviously I'm, you know, I'm super, super keen um, that, that people who risk hospitalisation and death get this vaccine or whatever. But I, I don't know. I mean, we've got the, well, the chief medical advisor uh, to the NHS today saying that we should bring back masks and other COVID measures because cases are back up. Um, at what point do we just move on from COVID? Because I don't think there's any evidence that we are going to. Well, I think you're also a great fan of like free speech and free expression and free kind of choice. So I guess really we're leaving it to the public to, to choose what. Yeah, they but think then is best the, that business about guidance comes back in. It's a responsible yeah, but thing it depends. to do. You can't. You can't. It's like you can, you can only make judgments, or the government can only make judgments based on. I'm sick what of that. No, happening. I don't want them to make judgments anymore. I don't want the government to deal with this anymore. I think to offer you a bit of light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Um, I think it's going to come down to the variants because obviously as the variants develop, they'll sort of um, get their own little... Sort I don't of, care. They'll dilute down. I'm you done. Want, do you, you don't want to hear Because the, the country's broke. Story. Go on then, go on then. But You've got good I'm news gonna, for me. Well, I'm just saying like the, the only reason why we get these numbers is to hear how the story is ending, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And like right now we've got Omicron BA2, which I think must be named after the flight you can't take. <laughs> it's very true, by the way, because B.A. Baracus hated to fly, of course. Of course. I get in an old plane. <laughs> I love to. So, so you think, look, in the end, look, I know, you know, I mean, I, you know, I've, I've sort of, you know, had strong views about, about COVID measures and stuff like that. We are where we are. But I, I just feel at some point there has to be a full stop. You want to let it? I don't. For me, there's no evidence that we are living with this virus based upon the mood music of government scientists. But perhaps that's a good thing. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm confused now, Mark. I'll be honest. I, 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 so we're saying the people that you should have it, have it, but you're saying let's not have it at all. Well, no, I'm saying I'm very pro people having yeah. the vaccine, but I just think with these announcements about the vaccine, you just know that next is right. All these people have the vaccine. Then everyone else has got to have it. And then you've got to wear a mask and then you've got to have social distancing and you've got to stay at home. And then we've got another lockdown. And I just feel that it feels to me like part of this inevitable arc in which we'll be, you know, we'll be back to square one before too long. But what's interesting is this, this article's not like before. We've had massive big publicity around it. And I yeah. don't think this is such a... So actually you go the other way. You'd say the, the way this has been announced yeah, shows that not, we are yeah, living that it with is it. it's going, yeah, it's and it is measured. Yeah. Point taken. Yeah. There you go. You see, look, I'm like Meghan Markle. I'm on a journey with this. <laughs>